Hey, welcome guys, this is Matt Kite, this is Jeff and Ryan, and we're here to help you make the decision between a wrist wing leash and a waist leash. All right, I'd like to dive into the waist leash. Um, I prefer the waist leash. I've ridden a lot of different leashes. What I like about the waist leash is it is around your waist so that when you're trying to get out into the water, you have both your limbs here, both arms, so that you can paddle through the break, which is kind of real important when you start to get into a big break. Uh, it, it definitely lets you propel yourself through, and the pull of the board comes from your waist, not one of your arms. So that's what I do really like about the waist uh, leash for your wing. The other advantage that I like about the, the waist leash for your wing is that when you're pumping and getting started, it doesn't get wrapped around your arm. Right? It seems to stay out of the way. Uh, so those are two, two or three big benefits that I really like about the waist leash. Uh, on the flip side of that, uh, a few things to consider though with the waist leash is when you're transitioning and turning, you're doing a jive or a tack, sometimes this can get wrapped around the neck a little bit. Uh, it's nothing to be too alarmed about. Uh, you can quickly just pick the, the wing up and bring it back. It doesn't happen as often as it used to when I first used it. So I've obviously made some subtle adjustments in my turns and my jibes so that that doesn't happen. Uh, the other thing you're going to notice if you're more of a beginner or, or a budding intermediate, that sometimes the waist uh, uh, bungee system uh, leash doesn't have as much room uh, as, the, uh, as your uh, wrist does because it's attached here. So the distance between you and your wing is shorter. So when you're trying to flip it over in the water, you can feel a little tighter uh, on you. This is something to consider though when you're, when you're making that decision. And I've been riding the uh, wrist leash. Uh, reason that I like riding the wrist leash over the waist leash. Uh, main point here, and we'll get to that in another video, is I've actually been riding a waist leash for my board leash. Uh, so rather than having both leashes attached to my waist, I've now got one attached to my wrist and one attached to my waist. This allows if there's ever any malfunction in either one of the leashes, I'm still attached to one or the other part of my year. Um, yeah, the disadvantage, I guess I would say to the, the wrist leash, same thing can happen where it can get tossed around your neck if you've got too long of a leash. So there's where it's important to make sure that you're sizing up that leash, I would say, uh, appropriately with the, uh, the wing that you're using. So there are different links in the leashes here. Obviously, the larger the wing you have, the longer leash you're gonna need. Um, so make sure you've got the right size leash. Ideally, you should have, if I'm flying the, uh, the wing here, and uh, this is my backhand, you shouldn't have a lot of extra slack when you grab onto the wing with your backhand. What this is gonna do, if you have too long of a leash, it's gonna give it more opportunity to get coiled behind your head, or when you're pumping that wing, it's gonna be flapping in your face the whole time. So make sure that you're getting the right size um, leash line for your wrist leash. May I add, you made me think of something. You can attach your, your waist leash to a harness. If you have a harness, you can attach it there. Um, so that's something I wanted to add. One other thing that's nice about this too though, is it does slide around your waist pretty easy. So if, the cor if your leash gets kind of tangled up, you can just slide it back into place. So you get your full extension you need for your, your wing. Okay, so one more style of wrist leash here. Really haven't seen it with the waist leash, but with the wrist leash is the coiled wrist leash. Um, now this is kind of a new one. There's not a whole lot of brands doing the coiled wrist leash, I believe. Uh, there might only be one of them right now that are um, offering it with their wings or selling it with their wings. Uh, most of them are selling the, the straight leash. Uh, I just grabbed this the other day because I was without a leash and figured I'd give it a shot. A uh, couple cool features on it here that I like. One, this happens to be Ion's coiled wrist leash. It has this little carabiner here so you can actually hook your, uh, your leash around your foil mast or a park bench or sign or, or what have you there and clip it onto the leash itself. So it is a really easy system to secure your wing when it's sitting on the beach. Um, one thing that I haven't liked of wrist coil leashes in the past is once you get pumping the wing, this tends to be pretty heavy and it can really um, the banjo effect there. Yeah, banjo effect. <laughs> Smack you in the face, get in your way. Um, 
<clears throat> which is not real fun when you're out there riding. However, I did find with this ion one, it seems to be a little thinner diameter, maybe coiled a little bit tighter. And I really haven't had any issues with that yet, like I have with other coiled wrist leashes in the past. So um, yeah, definitely a, a good idea here. Uh, it just kind of helps take up some of that slack. Like I mentioned with the other wrist leash, if you get the leash a little bit too long, you have issues with it potentially uh, wrapping around you or uh, getting too much slack uh, while you're riding there where the coiled leash really alleviates a lot of that uh, issue. All right, this has been Ryan and Jeff with Matt Kite here. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, drop them in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our video channel if you want to see more of these. Uh, let us know if there's any other videos that you guys are wanting to see here and uh, we'll get on those.